Oh, eat this. Oh my, what is this power drug summon? What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanashi and my name is Shanks. And today, we're gonna finally return to the multiplayer scene in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the page 2.2 with a free for all match. Five player free for all match on the beautiful map Belfadas. And we will get to play the Gondor faction. Okay, you know what? In order to make this a bit more interesting, we will only recruit infantry units. So we will not be even able. I mean, we will not, of course we are able to, but we won't be building up this table at all for the entire game. We will make soldiers, tower guards, and also archers, and of course, the rangers. But also we will need heroes like Farami and Boromir. They are very important for the leadership part. And yeah, here we go, boys. Here we go. Dude, I missed the, I missed the game. But, you know, it's sometimes it's quite hard with my schedule to get some games done. And hopefully in the near future, especially after September, when the game is going to be more active, we will be hopefully able to get more multiplayer games done and we can even try to host some tournaments, you know, for some more activity. Okay, so the plan is we're going to creep with the Hobbit and capture those two farms behind the base. Go, Peregrine Green Took. Okay, we, you, you know, when you want to creep the Goblin Lair, you always want to send your Hobbit first, forward, so he can tank the damage. He's quite tanky. You don't want your soldiers to tank the damage. Okay, I mean, we have two settlements behind the base. Let's wall check. That's the evil faction. Okay, okay. I mean, that's good, because when every single one of us is actually good faction... Okay, it looks like we are actually against two good factions and two evil factions. That's pretty good, because I don't want to play only against good factions, which means we are running around the map, you know, <laughs> for, the, for the settlements, and then we will have to build the siege works for the, for the siege, so we don't have to do that when we are also against evil. Okay, nice. So you see, when we put the Hobbit behind the soldier and he's cloaked, or he doesn't need to be cloaked, but when he's nearby, he will also get experience. Okay, let's put some pressure. We are against Gondor at the top left side, and we will also recruit Faramir and give him the chance to show his quality. Okay. I mean, I don't know what, what the Gondor player is doing. There is a troll creep, but I think he shouldn't be able to reach out to us. So we should... Oh my goodness. Okay, I see you. Okay, we have a level 3 Hobbit though. We can send him back. I don't want to use my Faramir for defending. I want to actually creep ASAP. I want to make sure that the other Gondor player isn't going to be able to creep this anytime soon with his own Faramir. Okay, let's do this. There is a Hobbit... You know, I just want to buy time with the soldiers, so uh, they don't come up, come over to this troll creep, you know? That's why my goal. Okay, let's reclaim this, and hopefully we will be able to defend the second farm. Would be quite chim if we lose it. Now we can use one arrow. And boom, nice. Faramir, now you can draw the sword. With the sword, you can take down the buildings a bit faster. And you don't have this auto attack animation going through. So basically, arrow has like a travel time, and you, I mean... You know, it's more time efficient when you creep with the sword, when you are playing with heroes like Lourdes or, you know, Faramir. Okay, there is an Isengard, and we were able to creep this. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Nice. And Faramir creeping his lair. Okay, we need to build a barracks and a archery range now, so we can start making combos, you know? And saving... Oh, oh, there is Boromir. But I want to get the creep. Can I get the creep? Oh my goodness, stop knocking me down on the ground, big brother. <laughs> Come on, nice. Okay, I have an idea. So let's get the money. Oh, but the money, we couldn't collect it either, man. I want to get the outpost, I want to... Dude, stop knocking down our Faramir, he's your brother. He's your brother. I mean, poor Faramir, getting bullied by his own dad and also by his own brother. So let's put him inside his jeans. Oh my, he, he knocked us... No way. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't. 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 No way. Dude, this has to be the most tilting thing ever, man. Now, I will also lose the outpost. There is zero percent chance I can defend this. I wanted to put Farami inside with the bow so he can keep shooting from, um, you know, he's going to be in a safe spot. As long as the citadel is remaining, he would not be dead. But his brother knocked him on the ground. Showed him his place, you know. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, yikes, bro. 
I mean, hopefully we can get the statue up, but he's also getting soldiers with Hobbit. And our Hobbit is shooting with the rocks on Boromir's head, but Boromir is a beefy boy. He doesn't want to die. Yeah, we gotta give it up, though, dude. We gotta give it up. Uh, we cannot defend this. That, that's like the worst case scenario in every single aspect, you know? We didn't get the money, remember? We got only one part of the money because we couldn't collect it for whatever reason. Then our Faramir couldn't enter... And we already purchased the outpost. So we lose Faramir, we lose the treasure, and we also lose the outpost. And the soldiers too. Like the worst case scenario in the entire game. It couldn't get any worse. But never give up, never surrender. I mean, if I wouldn't record this game, I would have called GG because I'm tilted actually. <laughs> I'm really tilted actually, you know? Like, oh man. But we got this, we got this. We have also Boromir on the field. Let's try to creep the troll lane with Boromir and eventually be able to get him to level 4. It's gonna be quite nice because we have le level 4, we unlock the damage leadership, which is needed for the combos. Otherwise, they don't deal too much damage. And remember, we are, we are against Isengard too. So we have a Gondor opponent and an Isengard opponent. We have also seen Rohan at the beginning of the game with the peasants. And who damaged this troll that much? Thank you very much for the leash, brother. Appreciate it. Come on. Nice. Okay, we got this. It's dope. Okay, so we are waiting for Faramir to be revived. The revive time is a little bit longer now in the patch 2.22. It's like a more like a punishment. When you lose your heroes, you will have to suffer, you know? Not only for the, for the money you need to invest to get them back on the menu, but also for the time. And what we can do now is we can get this outpost. Okay, very good actually. Very, very good. Our Boromir is almost level 5 too. That's dope. And... Remember, level 7 is a massive power spike. The Forgonda ability from Boromir, which boosts the damage output from the infantry, so basically makes infantry more re reliable in this patch, also stacks with his own leadership. So he will get 60% from his own leadership and 60% from the Forgonda ability. So Boromir all alone will be able to offer 120% more damage leadership for the nearby infantry units, including the archers, of course. They will deal more than double the damage, which Gondor was definitely needing. Um, we should be able to protect this outpost, right? Yeah, we should be able to. Because I want to also put the rangers inside now. Oh my, Rohirrim are coming! Um, I wish I would be level 5 because I could use the Horn of Gondor and stun them. And there is a Moomba... What is this Moomba kill doing there? Oh my, what is this? Okay. We are level 5. We can use the Horn of Gondor to stun them. I mean, the 1 is level 4. He won't get stunned, but the level 2 can, be get, can get stunned. We should be able to win this fight, I believe, around this situation. Farami, can you please join your real brother and not your step Boro? <laughs> All right. We have fire arrows too. We should be in a good spot, hopefully. I mean, we have heal for the worst case scenario for the Boromir. I'm not too worried. Okay. Just chunk him. Oh, oh. I have heal. I mean, I want to beat him to actually commit. Okay. Now we can use heal. And can we kill this Boromir, please? Kill him. Oh, no. I wanted to get the revenge for Farami, but... He's gonna get away because of the heal. He's, you know, he's quite tanky because our units are only level 1. And let's change that. Let's buy the banner so we can make them level 2. Again, each level is a massive power spike in this game. So, you might say, yeah, but the banner is too expensive, but it's actually not. You know, it's definitely worth it. Because the amount of damage put you, you get from a level 1 to level 2 unit is immense, you know? I mean, we have the Alvin Wood, but we won't be using it uh, first. So, when you have the Alvin Wood or Tainted Land, you want to be patient with it. You know, you don't want to use it first, because your opponent might get the chance to cover it. So, you will be in a very, very bad situation. Unless you can go for, like, a juicy Visa Blast combination, you know, with Gandalf Visa Blast. And right before the Blast goes off, you will put your land just for this Wombo combo. Okay, so... The, the problem is, we will also... I'm gonna build the marketplace here, but we will also need the Siege Vorex, because I wanna siege this Gondor so badly. I'm so tilted for what he did to us at the Outpost, with the money he was able to steal, with the you know, kill on our Faramir, and the fact that he slowed our progressing so much down. Isengard is also around this side. It's a Mordor. So, Mordor, Rohan, Gondor, Gondor, and Isengard. We have actually all four factions including in this one, that's pretty nice. The only downside for the infantry is the movement speed. The 
but to be honest infantry is much stronger in an all-out fight especially now with the leadership bonuses we have from farm uh, from boromir farm not yet we are actually very very strong use your warning arrow faramir do it you have my sword Nice, we killed him. Farami, if you don't know, the Farami warning arrow deals bonus damage to Mumikyas. Okay, I mean, we can keep, you know, dealing damage, getting power points, and also more experience on our heroes. Farami is almost level 5. It's going to be a, a great power spike for more armor leadership. There we go. Nice, too. That's what we like to see. But I need to rotate back to the outpost now, because I don't want to lose the outpost. And that's the tricky part about playing free for all matches, you know what I'm saying? Because the second you want to commit to a location, okay. The second you want to commit to a location, there is a chance that somebody else might attack you because everybody is against everybody. One, we won, we won, we won, you know? And one, we won. So basically, five players fighting against each other. We can take this back, no problemo. And now we will also have very, very soon our Gandalf on the field. That means that um, you can't get any stronger with the Gunner faction. So basically, army-wise and leadership-wise, that's all we can do. I mean, we can get Boromir to level 7 for the for Gondor ability, but you, I mean, for, as we are talking, we have Boromir leadership with level 6, and also Pillage from Boromir, which means we are making money for each kill. And the Horn of Gondor too, we have Farami leadership as well. And we will have also very soon Gandalf. So Gandalf also offers leadership, and we will actually for now keep him dismounted. So he will be not riding me Shadow Fax or Shadow Fax, <laughs> you know, anytime soon. Okay, I mean, we also need Trebuchet though. Again, to Siege, the farm is going to be taken down, but it's okay. I want to commit now to the, to the mortal player. I want to actually kind of... Uh, destroy him already because later on he might cause lots of problems so we can get to this location how how i mean i think he had the high ground dude i legit couldn't shoot did you do you guys see the high ground i mean the witch king is gonna fly in safety but we just lost the farami and boromir for no reason for no reason! Yanov, don't suicide. Okay, I mean, we actually... Dude... Uh, you see, guys, the problem? You know, the high ground. So basically, our units, even though it looks like they are in the range, but they couldn't attack the Mumu kill. You understand? That's the problem. Yikes, man. That's really tough. Okay. Um, hopefully, this counter is not going to attack us anytime soon, because we are not ready. We have only Ganov, and we have actually lost a lot of units. We will have to definitely recruit more rangers. Okay, I mean, the Orc Arches, what is the purpose of that? He's gonna lose them. Okay. The Mumakis are so dangerous units. Because if you don't pay attention for a single second, they don't care about your leadership. They will just one-shot everything they touch. Including Gandalf, including Aragorn, who's one of the tankiest heroes in the game. Okay, the Gondor player is moving to us. He has also Gandalf on the field, Faramir and Boromir. And also lots of combos, one of them is being level 6. But we can't really commit... I mean, uh, you know, when we have to fight, we can only fight around the outpost. Because around the outpost, we have the statue behind for more armor and damage leadership. And also the well for the infinite sustain. So basically, you can also heal up when you are fighting. And the well healing speed is actually nutty, you know, in this game. You can actually heal up quite fast. Okay, I want to I wanna place one of the tower guards to the, to the outpost. Because as you have seen, you know, we are getting attacked by the Rohan player all the time. And also, if you don't know the, the tower guards, they are immune to trample. So basically, when they are using the porcupine formation, the Mumu kill cannot one-shot them. And when you trample the pikemen in the porcupine formation with the Mumu kill, you actually receive so much damage in return. Okay. I'm just waiting for Farami and Boromir, and then I can actually go. I don't want to, you know, waste any more time. Because what we can do is we can dest destroy the outpost, capture it, then we have like a um, secondary station. And then we can always get back to the secondary station whenever our units or heroes are damaged for healing up and keep pressuring up all the time. So you want to, in a map like this, you want to move step by step. You know, you don't want to ignore outposts which you can eventually destroy and capture. 
you, you, you want to take them down first before you advance to the castle. Again, the golden rule is applying. No second castle, but you can buy as many outposts as you potentially can and want. I think the Gondor player was fighting against Isengard. And we kind of used the momentum. Um, okay, our trebuchet is hitting very hard. They are kind of committing on my Gandalf. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, he, go, he went for the wizard plus, but it's okay. Be nice. So I'm a servant of the secret fire. The wield of the flame of Arnor. Look, look, he's beating. He's getting beaten. He's chasing down our hero. He actually had heal, but he didn't use it for Gandalf. I think Gandalf could have been, would have been able to survive. But it's fine. We also gathered so many power points from this location. That's dope. Okay. And we have even a trebuchet, which is pretty nice. So the plan is simple. Capture the outpost and start sieging the Gondor castle. Then he's going to be our first target. Let's buy this. Okay. So again, start away well all the good stuff. Our Gandalf is quite badly damaged. We have no heal, but we killed his Gandalf. That's pretty good. Okay, two wells for them for the recovery and one statue for the all-out fight. It would not be wise for oh my, what is happening there? <laughs> it would be not wise for any faction unless you have your Isengard and your Freezing Rain to fight around the outpost with this much leadership. We have Faramir, Boromir, Far Boromir even has the four Gondor ability now. And we have Faramir and Gandalf giving armor and Boromir giving double damage leadership. And the statue is even making them stronger. So more armor, more damage. Pretty much our units are going to be legit immortal. Okay, so a few more shots. Oh my, what is happening here? The Mumu kill army is approaching. Defend the White City, but I cannot rotate. I don't want to rotate. So even if that would mean that we lose this outpost, I'm down. Because I don't want to now go all the way downstairs again. You know, you want to advance. Like, I think in a free-for-all game, especially in this game, BFME 1, you need to make choices. And they might be good, and they might be rewarding, or they might be bad, and they might, you know, lose your game. But eventually, you need to make a choice, and you need to be fast. It's about tempo and speed. Kill the trebuchet, it's dope. There's so many combos, but hold on a second. Uh-oh, boom, sad on your face. But we have the White Wizard. It has to be good for something, as Peregrine took for Dark to say. We can stun them. You shall not move. <laughs> Dude, you love to see the bottom of your Gondor ability. That's so dope now. Holy moly. I like that. I really do like that. Let's kill the Wild and let's get out. Our Ganoff is badly damaged. And our units can also heal up. You see the importance of the outpost? It's legit next to his castle, so we can do that all day long. We can siege him, and whenever we are, you know, damaged, we can just step a little bit behind. And we are at the outpost. It's pretty good. If also Cloud Break, um, the reason why I'm not going for the, for the Eagles it's, is because it's going to slow me down eventually. Because for, for the Eagles, I need to either pick up the Dunedain allies, the, you know, the Grey Company, or the Rohirrim. But... If you want to reach out to the EOD power spike, the army of the dead power spike, you can just go gun after white. And then, hold on, let's kill this guy first. Oh, heal, heal, heal! Um, guys, I was lagging. Um, um, Gandalf, heal, okay. I was, guys, what happened? <gasps> what happened to my Gandalf, dude? I was lagging! Okay, I wasn't lagging, but I, I want to pretend until the end of the game that I was lagging. That's the reason why I was losing my Gandalf. But I, I'm going to make you promise now. I will revive my Gandalf, and I will not lose him in this game anymore. If I, if, if I lose him one more time, okay? You can dislike the video and unsubscribe, okay? Okay? Deal? Deal, okay? All right. But if I don't lose him, um, you need to leave a like. And also subscribe, okay? I mean, I think it's like a fair deal. <laughs> you know, I will just leave him in the castle now and not move out. Hey, 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 you got outplayed. Okay, now nah, I'm not gonna do that, of course. I'm a warrior. I'm not gonna be a camper just to win a bet. I mean, the problem is he has Gandalf. And without our Gandalf, it's very hard and quite risky for me to just go inside the base. So I want to kind of be slow. And take down his wall 
you know, step by step and wait a little bit patiently to get my Ganoth back on the menu. Because once again, I mean, we know that heal is on cooldown, but still, you know, if he gets the chance to go for a Wizard Blast, um, we might not be able to burst them down because our units are not very highly leveled yet. I mean, few of them are level uh, 5, 4, but not all of them. So our damage, I mean, look, he has level 10 combos all over the place. Mm. We need to kill, we need to micro, oh my, I couldn't micro. Okay, he's not paying attention. We have too much leadership, let's kill level 10, let's kill level 10. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Okay, I'm pretty tempted to actually summon the Rohirrim, just to kill, yeah, let's go for it. Because I don't want to lose my units. I know the Rohirrim summon is going to slow me down later on for the Army of the Dead summon, but I think it's a very great situational summon to kill those trebuchet. Kill, 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 kill. Nice. Oh, he blow the Horn of Gondor, and we can't move anymore. Okay, rest in peace, Rohirrim. I wanted to get out because I don't want to feed him power points, but, you know, I take it, I guess. I have to take it. But at least we killed the two trebuchet, you know? I think this guy is also getting sieged by the Isengard play at the same time. <laughs> Look his beast. He's repairing the walls. I don't know what happened. Maybe he was actually blowing up an explosive mine because this actually looks like an explosive mine style. The amount of walls, part of the walls, has, you know, gotten broken. Boom, son. There we go. I think he also lost his Ganoff. I don't know to what. I have no clue. I don't have vision. Let's use the Horn of Gondor to stun them. Um, I don't know if we can still commit. Like, it's quite risky. Our units, they seem to be bad at damage. So I don't want to lose them. Especially the highly leveled ones. They are very important for my army. I want to keep them alive if I can. There is an explosive mine. I wish I would get the chance to blow it up, you know? <laughs> but I can't. Alright. We need some more trebuchet. Because after the Gondor, after we finally hopefully be able to destroy him, and we will actually move to the Isengard. Isengard is the main threat, especially when you go for the infantry style of a, of a gameplay with the leadership. Like, infantry is very strong, but in order to make it strong, you need actually leadership part. And if you don't know, beside Rohan, every other faction has more easily access to infantry leadership. And for that reason, infantry against cavalry. You see, even though we have no tower guards, the Rohirrim are charging us down, but they can't do much. They have so much leadership, they have so much firepower, they cannot play the game, you know? Um, and our Ganoff can kill them, no problem. Blast, 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 blast. Okay, right, just right click. Okay. Oh my goodness, man. Dude, the trebuchet are hitting like a truck. Okay, nice. Level 8 Ganoff. What are the chances that we're gonna get level 10? I mean, we are two levels away from it, so we might get it. We are command points kept, we cannot recruit any more units. But I think I want to just commit now. We have heal from the spellbook for the worst case scenario. Um, oops. Oops. Okay. No, no. It's all good. Parami is also back on the menu from him. But we have the four Gondor ability, right? So let's use it. I'm going, boys. Take this. Okay. I believe that we will definitely get Ganoff level 10. Dude, the wizard plus are actually kind of crazy. Let's go for the heal. When you want to use heal, you don't want to use it on a single guy, you know. Look what I did. I was riding with my Gandalf through my army, so I can heal Gandalf and also my army at the same time. And we are getting so many power points collected, boys. Okay, we have almost AOD, by the way. I think by the time we destroy the castle, yeah. Okay, we have AOD. It's dope. Let's pick it up. But, you know what? You know what? You know, I like challenges, right? And for that reason, we will try. I cannot promise if we can do it, but we will try to win this entire game without using the EOD, okay? Okay, I, th I think this Condor is destroyed. Unless there is an Isengard coming to group up from the from behind, we should be in a good spot. Yeah, kill the Siege Forks, that's good. The units, they get killed the second they enter the battlefield. Our base is also in a, in a good spot. And I don't know what's going on in the other side of the map. So I have not seen Isengard, Mordor, and or Rohan for a long time. GG. Okay, dude, nice, nice. Okay, one of one of them is destroyed. Only 
three more remaining okay once again remember what i was saying earlier you want to do that step by step so we want to destroy the outpost the similar situation destroy the outpost get the outpost so we can have like a, a stational camp in this case the outpost to get back to when we are damaged and then we can heal up you know have more leadership I think that's the reason i would say that on the map Belfalas actually infantry is a more uh, reliable strategy than cavalry and i think about it because there are like three outposts in the middle of the map in the center of the map and if you capture them infantry is able to keep them way easy under your control for a long duration in, in, in compared to cavalry and um again once you capture the outpost the, the gap and the distance from the outpost to any castle is not that far anymore so you don't have to go all the way back to the castle to heal up, you know? Look at that. We destroyed the outpost, and now we can just go to attack Isengard. Isengard next, and then Mordor after the Isengard. And last but not least, the Rohan faction. Kill him. Oh, but he's smart. He's smart. He's peeling. Okay. It's okay, though. Okay, let's put one of them inside the outpost. So we have, you know, like a plan B. I'm not gonna use EOD. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I mean, it's pretty tempting, not gonna lie. Like, look at this juicy level. Uh, hold on. Look at Boromir. Stun. You shall not move, Vork. Riders. I mean, it's pretty tempting. When you see this immobile combos of Isengard, you are very tempted to press the one button and then right click on them, the EOD, you know? And it's like the game winning ability, but we're not gonna do that. I want to actually kill lords because if I kill lords, I can do whatever I want with my uh, Ganav. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Wait, there is no way, dude. How? How did he just... What? That's crazy. Um. Okay, we need more trebuchet. Oh, we have more actually around this. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even see them. Okay, let's commit. Uh oh, but he's coming. The problem is he has no answer to my trebuchet. Okay, trebuchet damage. Holy cacavoli. And by the way, we nerfed the damage too, right? In, in the in the previous versions, it was hitting way harder. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Look, look, Saruman wants to take us over, but there is too much leadership, dude. There is too much leadership. What is the freezing rain actually? Uh, I think he used the rain, but I think I co I used my claw pick to cover to cover it, yeah. Because as you can see, our units are not glowing anymore. Yeah, it's raining, yeah. You see, you just used it. So now you will see with your own eyes that everything that was making our army so strong was leadership based. And uh, Isengard has the one one button, no counterplay, the freezing rain, which means two and a half minutes long. All the existing units on the map from every single player who are not in your team are negated. Can you imagine how important this is against factions like Mordor? You know, Sanem. Look, 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 you want to take down my uh, trebuchet. But Boromir is saying no. Because Boromir want to see the glory days of Gondor once more. Please. Okay, nice. Level 9, that's dope. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. And the Orphan has been shattered into pieces. Okay. Um. Kill the Barista. Nice, so. Nice, so. I don't want to, I want to go for a Visa Plus, but there is a Lords behind, and I, I don't, I didn't forget my promise. I said, I'm not going to lose Gandalf, and I don't want you guys to unsubscribe to the channel if I lose him, or if you guys, you know, to leave a dislike. So a deal is a deal, and I will try my best to keep him alive. I won't go for risky moves, but this Lords is a survivor. Dude, guys, do you see the durability of the Isengard Castle? It's kind of crazy, right? Especially those level 3 furnaces. They seem to be so incredible tanky. But again, the thing is, we have no leadership available. If we had leadership from Boromir all alone, we would be able to destroy those buildings way faster. Look, the level 3 siege works, so thank you too. But we have more reinforcements. We have like a ranger squad 
They do not end dangers. One thousand years later, <laughs> dude, that takes ages, man. And I think the Rohan and Mordor are fighting all the time, all the time, because I haven't seen them for a long time. And again, I keep repeating myself, but if you play free for all, you want to keep fighting non-stop, you know, non-stop, because you know, um, when you keep fighting, look at our power points. We have every single ability unlocked from this from the spell book. We have Eagles, we have Rohirrim, we have you know the Great Company, we have the Cloud Plague, we have the EOD, we have the Alvin Mood, we have the Gen of the White, we have the Heal. Like, we have every single one of them, because we kept fighting all the time. I think there was not a single minute in which we were not fighting. We killed the Mumu kills, we were fighting against Rohan, and uh, Kinol is gonna call it GG. GG indeed. I mean, dude, I mean, I'm very, very surprised about the durability of the Isengard castle. It's so tanky, it's unbelievable. But it's not tanky enough. And boom, he has been defeated. Okay, the next target, you know what's up. Step by step. And now, one does not simply walk into Mordor, but we are gonna change that. And also, leadership is gonna be back very, very soon. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna be extremely strong, boys. I'm gonna summon the Rohirrim and look out for some catapults. There is a Naz there is a Witch King. Hmm, and an Asgul too. I think he has no catapults, so we can just go inside the jeans and finish him off. Like, without catapults, the Nazgûls and the Witch King, they can't approach my army. You see this damage output? And the Moomai Kill cannot play the game either. Like, we can legit one-shot them. Oh my, what is this Baldrog summon? I'm a servant of the Secret Fire, the field of the Flame of Arnor. Dude, it's risky what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You don't get the chance to do that ever. Oh, don't whip me. I cannot lose him anymore. Don't, okay, he's gonna breath fire. Oh oh, oh oh, oh oh, deja vu from the films. Gandalf, the Balrog Slayer. Nice. I'm a servant of the secret fire. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, man. Kill him. Okay. I mean, we can summon the eagles, no problemo. Um, I mean, we lost Faramir, but <laughs> without sacrifice, there can be no victory. And that's such a satisfying moment too. You saw the moment he got summoned, he one-shot all the army we had. Literally, almost all of them. And then I was casting it. So basically, he cannot move like for two... Wheel of the Flame of Honor, yeah. He cannot move for like two, three seconds. And that means the Lightning Sword is gonna guarantee land. And Lightning Sword solo chunks and counters kind of like the, like the Balrog too. But you cannot one-shot the Balrog with the Lightning Sword alone. So you basically need like the combination of the... Lightning Sword and Easter Light, you know? That's what we did. Okay, I mean, Gandalf is level 10 now, of course. Gandalf is the Balrog Slayer, officially confirmed. And I want to make sure to not lose him. To not lose, lose the bet. And now we can commit on this Mordor beast, shall we? And I don't think he has catapults. And without catapults, I don't think he can do much against our army. If Boromir leadership is still available, which is far more important than the leadership from Faramir. So we should be in a good spot. Okay, just siege him. We can summon the Eagles too. We have Cloud Break available for the worst case scenario. Again, to make it more challenging, we're not gonna, you know, choose to summon the EOD. Okay. Firepower. Unlimited power. Okay, I mean, we can send the, uh, then the, uh, the Hobbit also to the outpost and capture the outpost too, because then we want to be time efficient. We want to actually siege the Rohan right off the bat. I don't know what the Rohan has actually on the field. I mean, the Rohan isn't defeated yet, definitely. Um, that means we have to defeat him. And if we defeat Rohan too, that means we would be the one player who, was, who would be able to defeat all four, def all four other players in the five-player free-for-all. Need more buff shanks? <laughs> I, mean, I think he's buffing me with the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> yeah, I look. <laughs> but it's not working this way. It's not working this way. GG well played, well played, my friend. I mean, Valrog summon was kind of nutty though. He killed all my army very well played. Um, but Gandalf is just, you know, he's the Maya, you know what I'm saying? 
In t you know what? Get enough time. Oh yeah, baby girl. That's what we do. The Alvin army got sent into this. Again, the golden rule is to not buy a castle. I mean, we destroyed three of them, but we didn't buy any of them. Because we are, you know, gentlemen's agreement. Destroy the castle. And go inside the jeans. Guys, should I just use the EOD in the last possible second? Just to show that I had it already for a long time. Or would it also break like the challenge? I don't know. Like make sure that we don't use it for killing stuff. But after we fully destroy the castle of the Rohan. After the last building falls. We can just use it just to break. You know. The break EOD. But look our units. Dude. They are shining bright like a diamond. That's unbelievable man. My eyes. The White City. Won't fall tonight. I mean, to be honest, the last times we were playing free for alls, everybody was grouping up against me. A GG will play Snowman. Um, and then you have much more action, you know what I'm saying? But this time, actually, they were fighting against each other. GG will play, guys. I hope you enjoyed this free for all fiesta. If you did, again, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.